Awake, O Israel, put off thy slumber, and the truth shall make you free. For out of Zion comes thy deliverer in the year of Jubilee. Oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Out of the furnace of much affliction I have chosen you, behold. And so for iron I'll give thee silver, and for brass I'll give you gold. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thou art my chosen, for I have sought thee. Thou art graven on my hand, and I will gather all those I scattered and return them to their land. Oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audio book, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. Politicians are getting involved in religion. They're insisting and ensuring that Islam is brought into Washington, D.C. and that people sitting in power are Muslim and female for equality and cultural diversity. The government allows Sharia law communities, and here in Washington State, they allow crimes such as murder, rape, child molestation, and drug use to go unchecked. The state of California is trying to outlaw the Bible and any other books that speak out against homosexuality, all the while disarming us good people so that these criminals can take advantage of us. All of these things put us at risk. What says that these things are wrong or that they put us at risk or that we have any right to regulate or stop these crimes or the Sharia law? Religious intolerance isn't enough to stop evil. There must be an unchanging, unlegislated standard that we can use to benchmark evil and good and to protect good people from evil. Today, good people are defined as homosexuals, lesbians, bisexuals, potheads, abortionists, Muslims and liberals, and meth addicts. Good and evil used to be defined by the Bible. When the Roman Empire fell, the statutes were so confusing that they ditched them all and went back to the Bible because it was the only thing that made sense. Only those who live in or travel to these Christian communities will be subject to their jurisdiction and other Christian communities. As the Bible requires each Christian community to hold each other accountable, it's time that Christians have the same rights as other religions and a safe haven where the death penalty exists, the right to bear arms exists, Rape, murder, and other abominations are not tolerated, where children can be brought up in the Word of God and not forced to learn common core or other religions. The number of people who claim to be Christian and desire to follow God's laws seems to be a minority. To learn more, please go to ChristianCourts.com.